Welcome again. In this lesson, we we'll learn how to transition from our app to the camera application, take a photo, and then bring that photo back to our application. So let's get started. I'm gonna head into Android Studio, and in here, I'm gonna start a new application. I'm gonna call this one uh, my camera app. And then the moment loads up in my Android Studio, what I wanna do is I actually wanna head into my layout, and I wanna make myself an image view as well as a button. That's basically the button that takes us to our camera application. And then we have an image view to show the photo that we took. So here I'm gonna head into the design mode because uh, for now I don't need to do something very uh, basically elaborate uh, one more time because my grader isn't really finished yet. So here I'm gonna go ahead and say I have this button. And this button is a little bit uh, larger maybe and then there's my image view image views they need something by default so i'm just going to give it this little image it doesn't really matter for this test and uh, right now i'm not going to really worry about the constraints so because of that i'm just going to go ahead and make this uh, uh infer constraints so i'm just going to let it create its own constraints uh, usually when it does it uh resizes buttons so the size has been on necessarily like so i'm just going to come back and make the height of the button uh, maybe 44 dp and now everything is good now here is my image view and then this button i'm going to call it uh take photo button and now we're good to head into our programming and get started with uh, writing the actual code for how are we going to go to the uh, app camera application and how are we going to take photos uh, back to here so here, the very first thing that I need to do is I actually need to head into my manifest and I need to give it the right permission. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and say uses permission and the permission that we wanna be using is camera. And that's all I have to do in here for now. So we wanna be able to access camera from our application. Now I'm gonna head into the main activity and in here I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, right at the very beginning under on create we should take care of our uh, permission matters however keep in mind that you have to do the permissions the way that we saw in our previous lesson which is uh, properly get the permissions depending on the result uh, making a request and depending on the results set, setting a variable uh, a boolean variable for now because i want to cut down on the amount of code and i want to simplify i'm just going to request for the for the permission so i'm just going to say activity compact dot request permissions and this one's three arguments the very first one is this and then is an array of permissions so it's an array of the only permission i really care about right now is manifest dot permission dot camera and then finally i'm going to give it a request code and i'm just going to statically give it a 100 keep in mind that this assumption right now is that when you run this application you will always offer it the permission you will always grant it the permission that's why i'm not checking whether there was or there wasn't i'm not checking whether uh, the permission has been granted or denied and this isn't really a recommended way uh, but you know you can just get away with it for now because you want to you want to make our code a little bit uh, less overwhelming so here once we have that permission we actually have to go to our take photo button i'm going to say set on click listener for this and in the on click listener for it we have to do uh, basically something very simple which is we actually have to go ahead and say there is an intent that takes us to action image capture so i'm going to say val intent which is an in not an internal error it's an intent intent of a media store and from the media store i'm going to get uh, action image capture so that's my intent and what you want to be doing you actually want to start that activity now here's the thing uh, you can't really just start the activity for intents such as this one simply because uh, you want to know what happens with them uh, what i mean with them is that what happens when you go to this activity and you do whatever you want to be doing in there what is the result of that and what would you like to do with that result because of that you have to start the activity for results so in here i'm going to go ahead and say start activity for result and in the start activity for result you basically have two things the activity the intent that you want to go to and then as well as the request code for it and i will explain to you what do both of these things mean so i'm going to say a start activity for result uh, intent and then i'm going to say the request code for it is actually going to be 
I'm going to give it a name. So here I'm going to say var camera uh, results code. And I'm going to put this at let's say 101. Now I'm going to say this is my request code. And the reason we do this is because we want to know when we get the activity results, which code are we interested in? Because there might be different activity results. And this is the one that we're interested in uh, when we open the camera. So how am I going to use that? I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say in my, after my uncreate, I'm going to say on activity result. So this is a an override function basically, very similar to uncreate. So here it has the request code, it has the result code, and it has the uh, data basically. So I'm going to go ahead in here, I'm going to say if request code in here, if this value is camera result code, so basically if the results we have gotten is for this opening of the camera, so that's great. Now we have to check to see if there actually is a result code. So I'm gonna go ahead and say if result code is activity dot result okay. So if that was the case as well, and of course you can put these two if a statements are uh, using an, uh, an and logical operation in here. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Before I write the code to handle the images that we take by the uh, camera, let me actually run the application so we see what we have so far. So I'm gonna come up here, run the application, and head into my Android emulator. And in here when I go in there, obviously at the very beginning, it asks me whether I wanna give uh, access to the cameras. I'm gonna say hello. And then when I hit the button, it actually takes me to this place, which is basically the camera application of the device. And in this camera application, uh, there's a little bit of an emulator in here that you can actually uh, use the Alt button to navigate around a room. You can also use the combination of WASD, uh, like basically any video game to just you know move around. And then you can take a photo. So here I'm gonna say, take this photo, and then once this photo is taken, the moment I hit this uh, tick button or this OK button, this is where the activity results uh, gets called. And the results are coming to this application, which is basically uh, these results are in data. And now we have to actually get this data and show it on our image view. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna have a val, let's call it image uh, bitmap, and that's going to be data. Uh, data is an optional value. We don't know if the intent actually has anything in here. So I'm gonna get the non-optional part of it. I'm gonna say extras from the extras. I'm, I'm gonna get the uh, data part of it. So that's going to be data. And I'm gonna get it as, uh, as bitmap. And now we've gotten ourselves a bitmap image from the image that we have taken from our with our camera. And obviously I could go ahead and say image view, not that, image view dot set image bitmap. And then obviously that becomes image uh, bitmap. Now, before I run this code, I wanna show you a, a little thing just to know as a, as a precautionary matter. Before you begin your activity, activity for results, usually you wanna to check to make sure that uh, your intent can resolve this activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and say if intent dot resolve activity for this package manager, if this wasn't null, which basically means if we could come in here, uh, I've got some warnings or errors in here for whatever reason. Let me see what is that. So I don't need that. So that's right. Uh, if that was the case, then go to the activity. And that's simply making sure that uh, the intent, this intent basically can go to a place such as image capture. This is just a precautionary thing to make sure that, you know, your package manager allows uh, this intent to open the, uh, for instance, in this case, the camera. And that's all we have to do in here. Let me refactor the code a little bit so things are a little bit easier to see. Uh, whenever I'm coding, I like the text to be a stack like this, but when I'm teaching, I prefer to see more code in one screen. So uh, that's the situation that we have. Uh, we go to the intent, we wait for the activity for result. Once we come back, 
uh, we get the image bitmap and we show it on our image view. So let me run the application and we can see what we got so far. The application is going to boot up once again now. And once it shows up, I'm going to hit the button. Obviously, it's not going to ask me for the permission anymore because we already have granted the permission. I'm going to say button. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's take a photo of this corner. And once the photo is taken, I'm going to hit the OK button. And when we come back, we see that image. Now, if you notice, the image here is actually not a very high quality image. It's actually got a, a very blurry look. And that's simply because data is actually bringing us the thumbnail of the image. It's not bringing the full resolution image. The full resolution image, you should save it on your SD card and then access it. And that's something I'm going to show you in our uh, next lesson.